Oh Lord, thank you. Baba is you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Now they are showing you on the screen a couple of people who had uh, been raised from their wheelchair. And daddy asked me to tell you that in the next five minutes, in the next five minutes, he wants to heal a hundred thousand people. And all he wants us to do now, all he wants us to do now, is that we just keep on praising him. Just go ahead and begin to praise him. Begin to magnify his holy name. Worship the God of heaven. Bless his holy name. Praise him more and more. Just keep on praising him. Keep on glorifying his holy name. Praise him, praise him. His healing power is flowing. He's reaching out to you now. You can be one of the hundred thousand. Give him glory. We will soon hear your testimony. Keep him. Keep giving him testimony. Glory. Keep on, keep on giving him glory. Ramokushendere Makatanda. We bless you.
Thank you, Lord. Bye bye, Shim. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, thank you. Daddy says, Daddy, so we pray. He will double the number if we praise him for another five minutes. So, oh, Go oh, ahead. So, yeah, Go ahead, yeah. praise it. Oh, oh, so, yeah, when you the lock, we'll make it. Yeah, make make it 200,000. Go that's ahead. Me. Praise him more. So, so, yeah, Give him another five minutes of praise. Glorify his holy name. Nothing too hard for him to do. Nothing too hard for him to do. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Daddy asked me to tell a woman here. Daddy Nikki Sofungo Birikoni. He simply said, "No more miscarriages." Only in so far we pray, O you to the wild that are remote. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, I show. Daddy asked me to tell a student. Daddy, Nikki, so far my lady, welcome. He says you will never fail again. Oh, Tony, if you hear me, you know it's a walk in a woman. Oh, Lord, thank you. That dear show. The Lord asked me to tell someone. That didn't keep suffering, he can't. He said, those who are waiting for you to weep, we wait forever. Yeah. 
We pe a won ti won re ti ojo ekun re won o duro lasan Daddy said somebody said Daddy ni pe eyan kan so wi pe When we go remember me Ni gba wo lo lo o ran ti o He asked me to tell you tonight O ni so fun o wi pe asale yi gan ni We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We will give you all the glory. We give you honor, Jesus. We give you. Jesus, we give you Savior, we give you Daddy says I should tell someone. Daddy Nicky is off when you come. We have been listening closely, waiting for God to mention your case. Totin thirty belege, we pick your love road that we call Tito now. He asked me to tell you. When is off when? All is well with you. Oh, Tito, I fun. My Father, my God, tonight is your night. Feel absolutely free to do whatever you want. Just glorify your holy name. Let heaven come down. And we will return the glory to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake hands with one or two people. And say your miracles are just beginning. Your miracles are just beginning. And if you believe that, let me hear you shout a really big hallelujah. And then you may be seated. 
except those who are born in the month of August. I want to be new to get your My father and my God, I commit all the children of August into your hands. Eight is the number of a new beginning. To every one of these your children, let there be a new beginning. A new beginning of joy. Of success, of promotion, of anointing, of miracles, of signs, of wonders, of mighty testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Congratulations, those of you born in the month of August. Two years ago, some people came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. By the time they came during the last convention, they were already pregnant. What if but we said they should wait till the babies arrive so we can pray for them. When and then there are some people who came last year trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And the children have already arrived. Now we will want to pray for these children. So their parents should begin to bring them forward now. So we can pray for these children before we proceed. So if you came barren two years ago, but God has finally given you your, your children. Or oh, you came last year barren and God has already answered. Bring the children quickly. So we can pray for them. And since the Bible says we should rejoice with those who rejoice. We will rejoice with them as they come. I think the choir will be singing for them so yeah. they can come dancing and praising God.
When we talk of the almightiness of God, look at all these families where they used to weep. And now God has wiped away their tears. Look at the hundreds of them here and the others in the old auditorium. Will you please help me shout hallelujah to my God. Hallelujah. Kindly stretch your hands towards these little ones and pray for them that God will protect them that our joy over them will last forever everybody please pray for these children pray for them only God can do this this is a miracle that cannot be faked it's what God is doing for us all the time. Give him glory. Worship him. So that he will do more. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, And so, my Father, my God, we, we just want to say thank you. Only you can do this. Making the barren fruitful. Thank you for that special anointing in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. For thousands upon thousands who have been barren, who are now fruitful. We are grateful, Lord. 
Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We commit all these children to your hands, Lord. Please lay your hands on them now. Protect them from evil. Yes, Keep sickness away from them. Keep death away from them. Let them become great. Let them serve you. And let our joy over them last forever. And all those who are still believing you for this kind of joy. By this time next year, let them bring their own children too. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, all you joyous people there, let me hear you shout your own hallelujah. But, well, some of you made pledges to God last year that if He will answer you, you will come back to say thank you, make sure you fulfill your pledges and God will continue to bless you. Give God another round of, of applause as you sing for two minutes while these people go. Next month there won't be Shiloh hour because next month is for you people. Uh, I mean, the special Holy Ghost will be for you in September, so no Shiloh hour in September. Divine encounter and Shiloh hour for August we hold on August the 12th. For your information, God has given us the theme for next year convention. And it is the overcomers. Oh no, I want he has also given us the theme for the Congress in December. And that is Onward Christian Soldiers. Now, I need your help over 
something very special. As you can see, by the grace of God, the church is marching on. Whatever the devil had uh, tried, the devil has failed. And the church of God is growing. And we are in very serious need of accommodation. Drawing special programs like this and like Congress and so on. We need more dormitories. We need more toilets. We need more bathrooms. And I mean we need them in hundreds. So I'm going to ask you to please decide on your own. Don't you help us to build more dormitories, more toilets, more bathrooms? And whatever you decide to give, just make sure that when you are sending the money, you write camp projects. Camp projects. Right, if you like it dormitories, if it's toilets you want, if it's bathroom, just make sure you write the checks, redeem Christian Church of God, come projects. Don't write the check in my name. If you write it in my name, what will I use it for? Uh -huh. It will go for Pandadiam. So write it in the name of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Camp Project. And the Almighty God will bless you mightily. I also need a group of people who will partner with me for the development of our university. I'm calling on some of you who would love to join a club. That will be called Friends of Redeemers University. I want to know what university joy And these are people who will be able to give substantially towards the rapid development of our university. I want to know what we need to do these are people who will be willing to give something substantial either once a year or every month towards the development of the university. I want to warm up you, go to Kale, find that Basuki, they will you buy a leg and lose with you, that we let on Lord do. Or who may want to just go and build a big building for us for a faculty or a department at Redeemers University. Please, if you want to join that club, submit your name 
to my secretary. And the Almighty God will continue to prosper you beyond your expectations. Glory be to God. Okay. Are we ready for the Almighty because He's ready for us? If you are, if you are ready for Him, let, let Him hear you shout Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis Orikini. I'm reading from verse 1 to 5. Monka Lati is a kini de kanu. Genesis chapter 1 from verse Genesis 1 to 5. Orikini is a kini de kanu. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Ni at the Koshi, Olon Ruda, or at Yaye, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. A Yesi Wani Ju Ju, Osi Shofo, Okunkosi Walo Ju Ibu, and me alone was in Rababa Loju Omi. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. Thank you, Father. The Lord has me to tell someone. Your generation will call you blessed. And God saw the light that it was good. And the Lord asked me to tell someone up to now you don't really know the meaning of good but he asked me to tell you before the end of this month you will know what good means and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. There is someone called God. Every wise person knows there is someone called God. According to Psalm 14, verse 1, only fools can say there is no God. Psalm 14, verse 1. And according to the word of God, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35, Proverbs 3, 35, it doesn't pay to be a fool. Because the Bible says, those who are wise will inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. So there is someone called God. Those who believe there is God. Who are here tonight. Please one more time shout hallelujah. Now this God, 
The first time he introduced himself, he called himself the all-sufficient God. Genesis 17 verse 1. Genesis 17 verse 1. And then in Luke chapter 1 verse 37. Luke 37. It is written that with this person called God, there shall be nothing impossible. So I want to rejoice with you tonight that your own case will not be impossible with God. Now this God who is all sufficient who can do anything at the beginning created two principal things heaven and earth One of the two things that he created is called heaven. The second is called earth. Heaven was so wonderful that God decided, I will use this as my throne. And then the second one, the earth, he said, I will use it as my footstool. Isaiah 66, verse 1. Isaiah 66, verse 1. He created two things. One is wonderful, called heaven. That's the one we've been discussing since this one week. But the second thing he created, called the earth, was problematic. It had all kinds of problems. But he controls all the problems on this earth by putting it under his feet. So it doesn't matter uh, how many problems you may have. They are under the feet of God. That's why I can assure you you will get your solutions tonight. Amen. Now, so this God sits in heaven and from there he controls the earth and he does so by speaking. That's why you should not be surprised that tonight he has been speaking, speaking, speaking even before we start preaching. He speaks. Oh man, sorrow. And the moment he speaks, it is done. In Psalm 33, Psalm 33 from verse 8 to 9, the Bible says the whole earth should fear the Lord. 
And he said, the reason they should fear him is because once he has spoken, it is done. He has spoken to some people tonight. And it's already done. Whether the rest of the people believe it or not. At least 200,000 people have already been healed tonight. But he will do more. He controls the earth by sitting in heaven and speaking a word. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 Genesis 1 verse 3 He said Let there be light How long does it take before there was light? The, the moment he said let there be light Immediately there was light Everything on earth was a mess But once he said let there be light Everything changed. What is the meaning of let there be light? It means darkness go. Darkness give way. And I'm happy to tell someone that right now darkness will leave you alone. Amen. When it says darkness go, physically, it is good news for those who are living in darkness. Good news for those who have problems with their eyes. Because in Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52, Mark 10, 46, when Bartimaeus cried unto him that he wanted his eyes to be opened, Jesus didn't touch him. He didn't pray for him. He spoke a word. Let there be light. In the name that's above every other name, I decree right now, all of you who have problems with your eyes, let there be light. When he said, let there be light. When he said darkness go, it also means stagnation come to an end. Because when it is dark, it becomes difficult to move. If they take off the light here right now, 
Majority of us can only do one thing. We just sit down where we are until light comes. But when you find in John chapter 5, from verse 2 to 9, John 5, from verse 2 to 9, it tells us the story of a man who had been going around in circles for 38 years. When Jesus got to him, he didn't pray for him. He didn't touch him. He spoke a word. Rise up, take your bed and walk. And the stagnation of that man came to an end immediately. May I decree to all those who have been stagnant for years. Tonight, let there be light. Darkness go. Also means demons get out. In Mark chapter 5, from verse 2 to 20, Mark 5, 2 to 20, in the story of the man who, who was uh, possessed by thousands of demons, the one who controls the heavens and controls the earth by speaking spoke a word to the demons. All he said is go. And they disappeared. Once he he sits in heaven, controls the earth by speaking. No struggles, no gimmicks. He will simply speak and things will happen. Tonight is speaking to the body of some people. And whatever is wrong with their bodies is going to be put right. He's speaking to every situation surrounding some people. He's speaking to demons, saying, leave these people alone. He's speaking to stagnation. Stagnation is over. And he's saying, let there be light. Now when he says, darkness go, he's also saying, sorrow go. Because in Psalm 30 verse 5, Psalm 30 verse 5 He says weeping may endure for a night But joy comes in the morning Darkness go Means Joy begin 
are your parents. That's why I'm believing God for someone tonight. And from tonight onward, you will never know sorrow. When you go through the scriptures, in Mark chapter 5, from verse 35 to 43. Mark 5, 35 to 43. When he got to Jairus' house, and people were weeping because the daughter was dead, one thing he said, is why are you weeping? The daughter is not there, she's only sleeping. The Bible said they laughed him to scorn. But do you know that before he puts an end to the sorrow of Jairus, he drove out the weepers. So in the name of the Almighty God, I hereby decree that weepers will no longer gather in your homes. And when he decrees, darkness go. It means no more sorrow. A couple of years ago, a great man of God came to us and said that in his town every year somebody prominent must die. So there is always mourning in the town. He invited us to come. As God will have it, the town was not far from our path when we were going a fishing. So we branched at the town. And we decreed in the name of the Almighty that there be no more sorrow in that town. By the grace of God, from that moment on, yearly death ended in that town. May I decree to all our traditional rulers because the Almighty God was extremely happy today to see you praising Him. And I hereby decree in your kingdom there be no more premature deaths. No more sorrow. There will only be shouts of joy. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Now, when he says, darkness go, he says, no more sorrow. The Bible says he sends his word and he healed them. I believe very firmly that tonight God is not asking us to do a big theological study of heaven. All he wants is 
us to give him an ave avenue for him to speak to us. And he has been speaking and he will continue to speak. So if the Holy Ghost service of tonight does not follow the normal pattern you expect, it is because the results that will come tonight will not be the kind you have ever known before. For example, he asked me to tell someone that as far as you are concerned, your journey forward and upward will become extraordinarily fast. He asked me to tell someone that recently you missed a breakthrough. He asked me to inform you before the end of this month you will get a bigger one. He asked me to tell someone that you are here listening to me right now. <laughs> he said, you, you are not going to die very soon. Oh, you. Oh, thank you, Father. Is it okay if we just allow him to talk? I can't hear your yes. At least if you know anything about me, you know by the grace of God. I normally prepare my sermons. I love to teach. But rather than me to teach and give you several things to write down. I would prefer that nobody lives here with any sickness. I would prefer that all your problems be solved. I would prefer that you don't know sorrow anymore. Is it okay if we just allow God to speak? If it's okay by you, shout hallelujah. Okay, now, when he created the earth, the Bible said the earth was confused. It was in disorder. It was empty. Until God spoke. May I decree in the name that's above every other name. Confusion will end in your life tonight. See, when we talk about confusion, another word for confusion is what we call a storm. In Mark chapter 4, from verse 35 to 41. <laughs> 
Praise the Lord. Daddy said, Daddy, we pay. I thought you said you will allow me to speak. <laughs> Hallelujah. Daddy, just go ahead, speak. Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy, <laughs> you He said, very soon. Your son will be now that the battery is over. This is it. You put it on. I want to say amen to this one before I tell you. Because Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy looking so when he come. He said, by the time the sun rises tomorrow, heaven would have opened over you. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy asked me, and, and I, I want to say amen to this one again. He said you should enlarge your capacity to thank him. He said because there is a flood of blessings coming your way. We pay ni to repay o mi ya le ibukun o n kwa ni waju re Oh thank you father Daddy has me to tell someone Daddy make him suffer when he come If anybody ask you how are things We tell when you about pray Lord we pray when he come Your answer will be good he asked me to tell you from tonight onward because what he wants to do for you when they ask you how are things you, you will say very good Ask me to tell someone. He said, Trust me. Whatever I need to do to silence your mockers, I will do it. We to open to buy a kiss. Lati pa won ti fi o se yeye lenu mo ma se Daddy says I should tell somebody Daddy ni kin so fun enikan He said by this shall you know Be ni pa yi ni wo yo fi mo that I am the one speaking through my servant. He said, I have a bag full of wonders for you. And you will get one every month for the rest of the year. I've never had it like this before. I want to teach you, but the Baba says don't. 
Daddy says someone is here. He said you will understand. He said that river will begin to flow again. Thank you, Daddy. At least one more before he says one more before I go on, if I have to go on at all. And I believe this is for many of us. He asked me to tell somebody you will recover all. I think I better just run up. Let there be light. Can be three things. Can mean three things. A command from God. And advice from God. Like in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Revelation 3.20 When God said, I stand at the door and I knock. If you open the door to me, I will come in. It's an advice. It's an advice like the first preacher who preached that heavenly sent message today. And I'm sure for the rest of his life he won't forget the harvest of souls of tonight. It's an advice when God say, hey, come unto me if those of you are heavy lady, come and I give you rest. That's an advice. Thank God so many people took the advice. But let there be light can be a cry for help. Batmels cried. But if you keep me. I said, Lord, let there be light. Okay, And God answered him. I'm just obeying God. I'm not going to say what more because that's that's how much he has allowed me to say. I'm going to ask you to pray. I will give you your prayer points. You want to write them down? Mm -hmm. Because hey, God is here. And he's going to answer prayers beyond your widest imagination. Can only remember one night in the past when I had felt his presence like this. When I 
when I wanted to preach, and he said, No, don't preach, just make the altar call, and I made the altar call. And he did what he alone can do. Tonight he wants to answer your prayers. He has spoken to you. He may speak more before we go. I don't know, but this this is the way he wants it tonight. Write down your prayer points. Number one, thank him that we are able to make it here tonight. Thank him that you are connected with this program wherever you may be. You are not going to forget tonight for the rest of your life. Number one, thank God. Thank him that he's on he's still on his throne. And number two, say, Father, please speak to my body. Your world sorrow, say, around me. I don't just want to be healed. Jesus, I don't want to be sick again forever. Speak. Oluwa soro to my body. See agora me. Number three. Eketa. Father. Baba. Speak to my soul. Eba okon mi soro. Command it never to draw back from you. Speak to my soul. Command my soul. Ne never to draw back from you. Number four. Speak to my spirit. By me, Mr. Envelope me with your divine power. If you are in me, if you speak to my spirit. Envelope me with your spiritual power. Number five. Speak to my life. That abundant life that you promised. I want it. Mufe. Number six. Ikefa. Speak to my family. M. Thoro, see, delay me. Let none of them miss heaven. Kiani Kenny, you know, one comes here, but I know each other. Speak to my family. Wherever they may be right now. Speak to them. Let none of them miss heaven. Number seven. Speak to my future. Don't let me ever know shame again. 
and then you can add whatever prayer of you that you want. Yes, while if we go go a bit, it's a rainy day. If you come on, the altar is open. Ali, what's the word you prepare? Come and cry to God. What you see? Keep it so long. Is there? Oh, I need you. Thank him. And call on him. Just speak, 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 Lord. Speak to my body. Speak to my soul. Speak to my spirit. Speak to my family. Speak, O oh Lord. Speak to my future. Since all you want to do tonight is speak, speak, Lord. Speak. speak. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God.
Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Lord will grant your request. He will speak to your bodies. From tonight, sickness will become a foreigner to you. From tonight, you will not backslide. From tonight, you will enjoy the power of the Holy Spirit. Your life will be transformed. Your family will serve God. In all areas of life, it shall be well with you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy making so poor. He said, I have heard your cry. Thank you, Father. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Well, go ahead, shout a big hallelujah, hallelujah to And then you can go back to your seats. Oh, thank you, Father. What a night. There are still three things that Daddy wants us to do before we go. In comment and bet your loan if I can shake at all. As soon as we get back to your seats, we'll be able to proceed. Get it about the quad as I might as well do. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The Lord asked me to tell someone. He said it's not the he says not he who starts first who matters. It is who arrives first. 
And he asked me to tell you, those who thought they have left too far behind, you will arrive before them. You're supposed to go back to your seats. You are the one I'm waiting for. Thank you. The Lord says there's someone here. He said, very soon. We like when your friends begin to see my glory upon your life. They will ask you. What happened to you? And you will tell them, Jesus spoke to me. Or Jesus saw us in my Oh. Daddy is just speaking. I didn't draw us or us. What you see? Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy Nikki suffer any con. No matter what the enemy may try. Koni, if you say be a word, that's it, Tirakato. You will never be grounded again. Okay. Now, I want you to take your torchlight. Oh, sorry, your mobile phone. And uh, switch it to the torchlight. I think I'm going to need one. Is uh, anybody here who, can, who has two? If you have two and you can. Huh? Oh, okay. This is uh, all right. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> There's something we normally do as an act of faith. God wants us to do it tonight. Now you will stand. And lift it up. And cry to God. Father. Baba. Mm -mm. I, I, I mean, you really, really cry. Father. Baba. Let there be light. Jackie, Mole, you are. Go ahead, go ahead. Cry unto him. Take your Lord. Father. Let there be light. Jackie, Mole, you are. Let there be light. Jackie, Mole, you are. In my life, let there be light. 
In my home, let there be light. In my place of work, let there be light. In my churches, let there be light. Wherever I go, let there be light. Father, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Almighty God, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Daddy, let there be light. In my home, let there be light. In my family, let there be light. Everywhere I go, let there be light. Almighty God, let there be light. Let there be light. Amen. Amen. Then you pray. And say, Father, for the rest of my life, let me shine for you. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. For the rest of my life, let me shine for you. Let me shine for you. Let me shine for you. Let me shine for you all the days of my life. Let me shine for you, Lord. Let me shine for you. Let me shine for you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. And then you are going to pray. You will pray as if you are angry. You will say in the mighty name of Jesus. And because of the light of God. Satan. He was satani. Leave me alone. Go ahead, cry unto the Almighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And because of the light of God. Satan. He was satani. Leave me alone. Leave my family alone. Leave my ministry alone. Leave my business alone. Leave my children alone. Leave all those who are precious to me alone. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to pray one more prayer. I said, Father, don't let my light become darkness. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Don't let my light become darkness. For the rest of my life, don't let my light become darkness. Almighty God, don't let my light become darkness. Don't let my light become darkness. 
Thank you, Jesus. Jesus will show you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So shall it be. Your light will never go out. Wherever you go, you will shine. The light of God will always shine on you. Darkness will see you and run. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Now wave the light. Wave the light. Oh yeah, do know it's okay. <laughs> Make the devil mad. Let him know he can't come near you now. Glory be to God. And then shout a great hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. Now we are, we are almost through now. Many a times you hear testimonies. And we had one beautiful one this night. When we lift our hands and we ask God to anoint your handkerchiefs. So that you can take it away as a mantle and use it for God. Some people think it's just a joke. But we've had testimonies. Some Children were graduating from nursery to primary, primary to secondary. And I went to attend the program because my grandchildren were among. Of course, I love children. Everybody knows that. So, while there, one young boy grabbed my hand and shook my hand. After I left, he went to the chairman of their board. <laughs> he said, Daddy G shook my hand. Only Daddy G You better come and shake my hand. It sounds funny. But that little boy knew he got something. Somehow, hands are different from hands. And I'm going to wave this hand again today. And it will anoint some handkerchiefs. And then during this convention, we had the testimony, I think it was yesterday or the day before, of a young man who had a fire accident. Fire covered all over his body. But at the end of the day, he discovered 
as great as the fire was, the dress he wore didn't catch fire. And then he remembered. That was the dress he wore one day when I said, whatever dress you are wearing is anointed. The dress didn't catch fire. I want to wave my hands tonight. And the dress you are wearing will become specially anointed. But before we do that, because after we've done that, you'll be, you'll be asked to pray a prayer, and after that, you can go home. And that applies to the ministers too. After, after that, you can be on your way. And incidentally, there might be some of us who will need laying of hands, counseling, baptism in the Holy Spirit, etc., etc. But the senior pastors will be here tomorrow by 11. They will also be at the old auditorium. If you want counseling, you want baptism in the Holy Spirit, they'll be around to attend to you. So before we do that final thing, I think it is time for us to say thank you to the Almighty God. So let us quickly take our Thanksgiving offering. And uh, as usual, down to the nearest basket and drop your thanksgiving offering. And we will continue with the rest of the program. Over to you, choir.
Don't take your handkerchief and raise it up. If you haven't touched, uh, drop your offering, go ahead, drop it. As soon as I say in the name of Jesus, just keep on saying Amen, Amen until I stop you. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Father. Father, saturate all these pieces of cloth with your anointing. Papa, if you roro in your book and wash your tea, not okay. If your children wave these mantles, let the enemy surrender. When they wave these handkerchiefs, Father, where there was no way before, let there be a way. When they wave these handkerchiefs, Father, let the Red Sea part. Let miracles happen. Let your name be glorified. Father, bless the offering of your children. Receive it. Use it for your glory. Don't let your children ever lack. When your children are going home, please go with them. As the sun is rising, let their testimonies multiply. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, first of all, wave that and catch it so that the enemy will see. You are so, it's okay. You do it, it's a tiny at your water. And then lay it on your own head. You walk me, you are with the anointing still fresh on it. Well, you from your road, you are not going to go here and prophesy to yourself. You are so tell us, you are not here. Mention your name. That would go right and say, I did boy, I did put on the boy from now on. That's your new law. It's going to be well with you. You are a funny. You become unstoppable. Heaven will begin to dwell with you. Go ahead, prophesy to yourself. After which you can then go home rejoicing.
So father, I know you are so friend. 